Tunga hogiti karitao yokun atokati gik tugluta uglumi. Welcome to our online service today. This is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made, that the Lord has made. We will rejoice, we will rejoice and be glad in it, and be glad in it. This is the day that the Lord has made, we will rejoice and be glad in it. This is the day. This is the day that the Lord has made. O Vlokuna, O Vlokuna, God im Hanaya, God im Hanaya. Kuvianak, Kuvianak, Kuvia hook to Kalek to good. This moment to I rejoiced with those who said to me, Let us go to the house of the Lord. Oblam Kangautet Kulani 3. Katangutitka Gadim Okauhinita Titigat Himayun. Bitkuyatigut Uvagut Hwanehutivut Ilutigi Kublugit Okaglugidlo Gadim Ayuhaitum. Angutipta Kilangmitum Hangani, Tadja Hwanehutivut Ila Eyaktau Himakunagit, Nanyaglugit Oma Tip Tinin, Anangiyak Himai to make Kapio to Miglo, Wanako Tip Tinin to Mining, Ihumagiuniak Vigiao Kubluta, Godim Naguningagun Naglikuta Gudlo. Talva Uvanga Okauti Gipfi, Katimala Rapta, Hamani Tamapta, Oma Tiptigun Nagoyumik, Nipiptigun Anangiak Himaitumik, Atangum Kilangmitum, Ikivauta Pranga Opaglogo, Godman Ochagluta. Angutit put Ayo Hai Tutin, 
Nagli chak to tidlo over god ap kutinning. Hungry not pak to god im nighton ola nao himayutun. Malik padla huta. Pit go hip ting nik. Puyuma yap ting niglo. Puyring na hogit pit gutin na goyun. Ahin over god pigya hap tap ting nik. Bing it to god. Big a king and in up ting nigly. Big a low up to good, no go you make, big a ning napta, o my tip ting ne. Il vidly, artinek, nagly ti good, when a good to grapta, and now ti look it, o guard, ta mita, gap your hook patta, honey, o gaggy out your rap kin inuit, Jesus Christ ti con, artinip ti con. Ikayuk ti god, angu tit put, Jesus pib loko, ovo god tal van ganin. Inu higik kubluta, ilu mok tomik, no goyo miglo, atkin alionok tok pib logit. O god, inuit anaw ti vagapkin, Jesus Christ ti kun uva god. Honeke vagapta ilvin, Ihu magyun yag vigi luta, Ika yuk ti gud, O God, Na govad li ala kub luta, Inu hip tingni, Tal van ganin, Jesus pib luko, Apa ka gip ti gin, Amen. A tangum ken gauta, Angu tit put, Ki lan mi tutin, At kin na gogi yawli, At ang govin kaili, Ihu matin tan mali uli nunami kilang mi tutun. Ublu me nahi hap ting nik ay dok ti gud. Kwa nako tip ting nik ihu maguni a glutin. Uva gud taug ihu ma luk ti ihu gap ti gin. Kwa naki yiga vod. Ok tok taun et mon hivod lak tai luta. Dupi lak min anaw tip ti gud. Ilvin piyuti ki gapkin, atangovik akokin na kaumaneklo nungo laitumon taimonga. Amen. Atanek kanivod aitikin. Taima kunyaga yegip tigin. Atanek kalamulutin anautiktigut. Atanek ikayuk tigut tajainak. Nagoki yali gaad angutikput aninga anengneglo nagoyuk. Taimaliu pangman hivungani tajulu talvangani nungo laitu mudlo tauk. Atenengun kowehu pagiti. Ila atangum atia koyagi yao yukhak. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. O Lord, open thou our lips. And our, and our mouth shall show forth thy praise. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Praise ye the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. Gadim o kauhinganin. Kulani 173. Ephesiat Nakata 3, Vasinga 13 min, 21 mum. Paul Titigaktuk. Talvuna angutipta hangani hitkupaktunga. Tafuma. Ateng magit ilagit tamaita kilangmi nunamilu. Tuchiak vigi agak gad. 
Nayuganin tafuma hakukitit kogluhi. Anengni kun nagoyo kun. Ilip fitauk ilup fingni hakukit kogluhi. Christ diplo o matihi iglugi kublugit o pengni figun. Kengap tunga donagit vakkak kogluhi govia kumi Ilit filo ilagi logit gardim inungit tamaita. Kangehi kublohi kraistim kovi kutata aktigi yumik ilitugi yumik tajitigi yumik kingit tilangmik itilanganiglu ila kraistim kovi kutanik ilihima kublohi ilitok hingnai galo aktid logo. Emek tu tau lohi gard mik ilwit tu mik. Gard tu ne layuk o vap ting nun piyuma yap ting nik. Iu magi yap ting nik lu avak kumu yu mik. Gard tu ne hi blu ni ako geng ni migun gard tat panga na gogi yau li. O pagati gik tu ni Christ Jesus mi lu tal vanganin Nunga laitu mun. Amen. Una gadim o kauhiani. A reading from Paul's letter to the Ephesians, chapter 3, beginning to read at verse 14. When I think of all this, I fall down on my knees and pray to the Father, the creator of everything in heaven and on earth. I pray that from his glorious unlimited resources, he will empower you with inner strength through his spirit. Then Christ will make his home in your hearts as you trust in him. Your roots will grow down into God's love and keep you strong. And may you have the power to understand, as all of God's people should, how wide, how long, how high and how deep his love is. May you experience the love of Christ, though it is too great to understand fully. Then you will be made complete with all the fullness of life and power that comes from God. Now all glory to God, who is able through his mighty power at work within us to accomplish far more than we might ask or think. Glory to him in the church and in Christ Jesus through all generations forever and ever. Amen. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. God our Father, we thank you again for this opportunity of being able to worship you through this online service. Again, we thank you for technology. We thank you that it has allowed us to be able to, to be together in this way. And now, Lord Jesus, as we focus our attention upon your word, the Bible, may our hearts and our minds be ready to receive whatever you speak to us this day. In your name we pray, Lord Jesus. Amen. I'm sure that all of you would agree with me that one of the facts of life is that all of us, whoever we are, wherever we live, wherever we live, like to hear or to receive good news. To receive and to hear good news, especially when we have been praying for something very, very special to happen. Well, Today, we can all give thanks to the Lord Jesus that for the summer months, you will have a minister in Kugluktuk. When Rosalind and I heard this news from Bishop David that a student from the Arthur Turner Training School in Hikalawit would be coming to your community, we were filled with joy and thanksgiving. We could say, Alleluia, Amen, Praise the Lord that yes, yes, prayer has been answered. Our God is faithful. He really is. 
And I know that many of you know this in your own lives. Since we left Kugluktuk at the end of March in 2020, we have been blessed, we have been privileged to do this online service for you. During the past 16 months, it's amazing, we have only missed one Sunday. And that was when Dif Bishop David was with you not too long ago. As Rosalind and I have prepared these weekly services in our home, we have felt a closeness to you. We really have. Oh, of course, it would have been a, a joy to have actually have been in the community of Kugluktuk. But nevertheless, we have felt a closeness to you as we have prepared and recorded the services. I have to say a big thank you to Rosalind. My part is the easy part. But Rosalind, she records this service and then she spends a long time putting it all together before it is posted on the Kugluktuk Facebook page and onto YouTube. We are a team and we've been a team for many, many years now. And we thank God that we can serve you in this wonderful, wonderful way. Over the months, it's been very encouraging to receive words of thanks and uh, encouragement from you. It really has been a great blessing to us. It has been a joy to have Susie and Millie and one, on one occasion Marjorie read the Bible for the services. It has been a joy. And it will continue to be a joy to know that we are a part of the worshipping life of your community. But of course, we all know that online services are not the same as actually being together in the church building to worship and to praise the Lord. We are looking forward to going back to our own church where we live on Vancouver Island. We have only had uh, six services over the last 16 months. And so we are looking forward to being together with our Christian family, with our Christian brothers and sisters in the Lord. However, God is good. God is awesome. God is amazing. Despite all the troubles in this world, despite so much bad news, God is awesome. God is amazing. He has promised to, to never leave us, to never forsake us. And we can place our lives in those words with absolute confidence and trust. Whatever is happening around us, God has promised to be always with us. It's been amazing how many people, people who don't normally attend church, have been listening to online services all throughout this country, in other countries. Many, many people have been reached and touched by the Lord as they have listened as they have entered into a Christian worship through technology. And so, even though COVID has placed many restrictions on our lives, the work of the Lord Jesus continues and it will continue until he comes again. It's been encouraging to know that there have been people in uh, Ulahaktuk and in Inuvik listening to the online worship, worshipping with us. And so we can say that technology has been in a, used in a wonderful way to proclaim the good news of the Lord Jesus. This should be a cause of rejoicing for all of us. A cause of rejoicing to say, thank you, Jesus that even though COVID has restricted so much in life, the work of the Lord, the work of proclaiming the gospel has continued. 
But now you are going to be blessed, you are going to be encouraged and you are going to be challenged through the ministry of a young Inuit man, Nick Kigiak from Joe Haven. Nick, as I've already said, said is studying in Iqaluit to become a minister of the gospel. This will be our last online service, but you will not be forgotten. We pray for you. We pray for the whole community every day and we will continue to do so, especially as you will be gathering together for worship in the St Andrew's Church building. Praise the Lord. The church building will be open again. This is wonderful. And I have to say a special note of thanks to Susie, to Millie, to Mavis, to all those who have been involved and will continue to be involved in the fundraising in order that the St Andrew's Church building and the house can remain open. God has blessed. God will continue to bless our ministries, even our financial giving to support the life and the work of the church. If we are faithful to him, we know, we know with absolute confidence that you will give a very warm welcome to Nick, just as you have always welcomed and cared for Rosalind and myself. We have talked many times about your kindness and about your amazing generosity. It has been wonderful. The words from Ephesians chapter 3 verse 14 to 20 is one of Paul's New Testament prayers. Oh, it's a wonderful prayer in which he prays for the Christians in the place called Ephesus. Verses 16 to 19, that they will be made strong through the Holy Spirit. We need to be made strong through the Holy Spirit, not just on the Sundays, but seven days a week, 52 weeks of the year. We really, really do. We really do. As you put gas in your skidoo, gas in your truck. So we need the gas, the infilling of God's Holy Spirit every day to enable us to walk faithfully with the Lord Jesus. In order that we grow in knowledge of the Lord Jesus, reading the Bible, reading it, studying it, thinking about it. Oh, as we read and read and read and study and pray over God's word, we will grow in our understanding of the Lord Jesus. We really will. And we will be filled with full to overflowing with his love, with his life. And we will know of his power working within us. Oh, this is a wonderful prayer. And when we read these words, when we put them into action, when we apply them to, the, to our lives, we will be amazed, even surprised at what the Lord Jesus will do in and through us. Where we live, where we work, where we shop, where we travel, we are servants. We are disciples of the Lord Jesus. And there is absolutely no limit to what God can do when his people are living faithful, faith-filled lives that are shining examples of what it means to be committed 100% to living and serving the Lord Jesus. 
And so may you be strong through the Holy Spirit. May you grow in your knowledge of the Lord through reading, fellowshipping in his word. May you be filled to overflowing with his love. And I pray that you will know the power of the Lord Jesus working in your lives. And so, dear friends, as we come to the end of our weekly online service, we are praying Paul's prayer for you, especially in Kugluktuk and wherever you are worshipping with us today. The Lord bless you richly as you welcome Nick Kigiak to serve the Lord with you in order that the church in your community will be a place where the power of God is known to be real in the lives of people. We rejoice in knowing that Nick's preaching will be Christ-centred and biblically based. We pray that the worship will be joyful. Yes, joyful. That the singing will fill that building. That the joy will spread out into the community. And that the community of Kugluktuk will continue to be impacted by the life of the Lord Jesus because his people are living faithful, faith-filled lives for him. We want to hear of Sunday school ministry starting again. Oh, how we praise God for those Sundays that we had when we were with you. Because Joanne had committed to serving children in that community. We want young people to come to know Christ. We want people to hear of people being set free from so much of this troubling them. Oh, we want there to be a wonderful renewal in the life of the church and the community of Kugluktuk. And so as I close today, and as Rosalind and I say thank you for being part of our Christian family, for being our friends in the Lord Jesus, listen to a modern translation of Paul's words in Ephesians chapter 3, verse 20. God can do anything. God can do anything. You know, far more than you could ever imagine or guess or request in your wildest dreams. He does it not by pushing us around, but by working within us. His Holy Spirit deeply and gently within us. Amen. A prayer. O oh God, let the fire of your Holy Spirit fall on all who want a fresh vision and understanding of your cross on which Jesus died. Please pour out your Holy Spirit on the community of Kugluktuk and on the ministry of Nick Kigiak and all the people who want your church in that community to be alive and to impact the community in order that many people will become disciples of yours and that they will be filled with the Holy Spirit and that they will know the joy of the Lord Jesus as their friend, as their companion, as their saviour, and as the strength of their lives. We pray this, Lord Jesus, for your church throughout the whole of the north. In your name we pray. Amen. We're so grateful that Mavis has uh, over the years has recorded Colin singing and playing hymns and gospel songs. And it's such a joy to be able to use those and to have Colin joining us in worship, even though 
he is so far away in Ottawa. We are so thankful for his music ministry and uh, we continue to pray for him and for Mavis as they are separated by so many, many miles. And so thank you again, Colin, for your ministry to us. Kulani one five one Kangaunek O God Inuktin Ukagiauti Gapkin Uno Hangmik Nunga Lightumik Pika Kubloki Jesus Christ Tikun Anautik Tigun Wenokukin Nengmin Makiti Lutalo Inukit Kubluta Nutamik Jesus me tamna inu langman ilingni anengni milu na goyumi. Amen. Kulani 33, Kulani 33. Inuit amanengmiut piblogit. O God, kilangmi tutin. Gangaga lugmin, Ukag vigi gapkin inuit ukpego hoktun, Ukag vigi kin inuit nunapting niktun taja nayuk paglugidlo, Mini hitavut nukoktikin to mangmik na goyomik, Ikayok him a kublugit inukotingnik, Utekti lugit ilingnon ilangit ulunaupata, Aniak him a yun no gohip kaglugit, Ihuma lok tudlo, ihuma lokoak di lugit, huli tap kwa hakogit tun, ok pagaya mingnik, ok tok hima lugit, pit go yangnik, puiko kunnagit. Elo o god ika yuktigut te mapta, inu higiki kubluta, ilvin anang naglo na goyok, ang nidlo angajo vigiyak kun atautikun. 
Amen. Kulani 32 Aquagik Tau Kugluta God Nungo Laituk Hanavagaptigun Aquagin Nakun Anauti Bluta Kovio Kutikun Hivudluktigun Aquagik Tilutalo Anengnikun Nagoyukun Tamapta Tuniku Bluta Ilingnun Uvapting Nilo Kovio Tigiluta Ekayoktigi Lutalo Jesus Christ Ikun Amen. Kulani 37 Aniak tuk piblogit Ayo hai tutin tukulai tutid lo guard Ilvin anuktua lupkun Nagohip kak pagatin aniak himayun Ingilgan taje kengauti akun Anya lengman Nagligi lugo una atanek taima Ikayuk tauluni ilingdun, nagohi lekub lugo tim timimigun, upakpiagluni lo ilingdun, umamigun, Jesus Christ ikun, ataniptigun. Amen. Almighty God, you have made us members of Christ and, and of his church. May we, as your people, reach upwards to your throne in worship and praise, inwards to one another in understanding and fellowship, and outwards to the world in which we live in evangelism and social compassion. Make us like a city set on a hill whose light cannot be hidden, so that men and women may find Jesus Christ as the light of the world and his church as the family of the saved and eternal life as the gift of God through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. <laughs>
and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be amongst you and remain with you always. Amen.